All right, it's, uh, it's kind of dark in here, but how about this? Okay, Google, turn on my Israel. Welcome to the Mega Cave. That started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. Oh. Straight? No yeah. straight. No straight? Probably. Uh. Mm. What was that? Are you a university student? A student in general? A college student? Whatever kind of student? Are you just broke? Do you want tech? If you don't have enough money to do it? If so, I'm better than you. Oh man, I'm getting canceled. I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. And I don't expect to be forgiven. What did Logan Paul say? Okay, let's just restart from the beginning. What's up guys, my name is Aryan Kapoor and I'm 99.9% .9 certain that you have not seen any of my videos before because this video will possibly be the first one that will ignite a somewhat of a consistent and clear path to fame for me, for me, because I will be famous. Did you hear that? David Dobrik, you got canceled. So here we go, this is my time to shine. MKBHD. Uh, I'm gonna be a better tech YouTuber than you. Nah, nah, nah. And KBHD is the the straight goat. But KSI, KSI, Simon, I'm going to be better than you. Although I'm gonna save YouTubers, I can't, I can't. Except David Dobrik. I don't like David Dobrik. Never seen his video. No, he got canceled. Probably deserved it. It's all takes place. In today's video, I'm going to be showing the world. The internet, my 10 subscribers, the ultimate, not so cheap, budget, gaming slash entertainment setup 1.0, because there will be many more of these. <coughs> um, kill me. So let's first start off with the actual couch that I am sitting on currently. This product is actually from Ikea. It's the Ikea Battle Cutter. This couch is essentially cheap and it's average. So this is a couch slash futon that is pretty good for the price. It cost me about $200 Canadian. If you have high expectations though, you will be very, 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 very upset and you will probably want to chop the window. Because you will be expecting something that is literally cloud foam, but it's not. <laughs> the comfort is right at the average mark, but considering that you are probably spending 150 to 200 dollars less on average than you would be spending money on a couch slash futon on any other website, possibly, possibly, or maybe I'm just really really bad at looking for for stuff, and this is just a waste of money. But I enjoy it. It's fantastic. The only gripe I have about this is that since it's black and it's, I don't know the material, but it shows off a lot of dust and lint and whatnot. So you possibly want to be cleaning this quite often if you are very much of a clean freak. Otherwise it will not be fun for you. And if you just want a cool, like, you know, couch or Futon for you to enjoy um, watching stuff on a TV or something, or in like a small kind of room. This is fantastic. This will definitely fit three medium sized people, two very large people, but it's probably going to be a struggle to sleep on. Just keep it in couch position and you're good. It's good. It's good. So, yeah, I'd definitely give this a cop. Nothing great, but for the $200, it's fantastic. Moving on to the next item. This is basically not a must, but I wanted it. And also because it helps tie the whole room together and because there's storage. It's basically the Ikea lac. I think that's how you say it. Ikea's got some weird names. This is basically just a center table that holds a lot of this stuff. Now it holds my 
portable speaker from Anchor. Don't know the model number, got it as a gift. It's my old phone case that I don't use anymore because I'm rocking the MKBHD Icon skin to pick up MKBHD with two micro USB cables. Right next to that, we have the PS5 DualSense controller. Surprise, surprise. In order for this to be the ultimate gaming setup, you have to have a PS5. We don't care about Xbox Series S's or X's, Xbox in general. No, only PlayStation, only PlayStation. And right next to that, I actually have my DSi, the original DSi, um, not the XL, the small one, um, with Pokemon Platinum. And then right next to the DSi, I have my three PS5 games. Now, of course, I have other games on my PS5, um, including Horizon Zero Dawn, because it was free, and I'm playing through that right now. But the PS5 games I have are Hitman 3, Black Ops, Cold War, and of course the Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Edition, which has the original Spider-Man remastered game. All three of these games, fantastic. The visuals on Hitman 3, fantastic. Gameplay, Call of Duty, fantastic. And if you want a very, very well-rounded game, Spider-Man, fantastic. <laughs> The next thing on my list is the IKEA Vesta. Um, this is a TV stand that holds my TV, which I will talk about in a little bit. It also holds my PlayStation 5, the disc edition, because the digital edition was not on sale at EB Games. Pretty obvious why. They don't want to run out of business. And they're greedy little sh It also holds my Google Nest Mini, I believe. I think that's the Nest Mini. It holds my Google Nest Mini, which I use to control pretty much everything around here. So I can turn on the TV, I can say turn on the lights, which is what I did at the beginning of the video, as you guys saw. Um, and eventually it'll help me control a lot of other things like the main light, my desk lamp, and probably eventually nano is behind me, which will unfortunately have to replace Kobe Bryant and will possibly put him somewhere else. So the TV stand has three little cabinets. So three little holes. Anyways, one of them holds the PlayStation 5. The other two, I have not found any other use for them. It's really, really good for cable management. I think everyone should take a moment and appreciate my glorious cable management back here. Got the Google, but yeah, I think everyone should appreciate my glorious cable management back here. It's been very, very hard, and I definitely did not just stuff everything back there and then push this thing up against the wall as far as possible <laughs> that is definitely not good for the cables definitely not good for the cables the last one that is empty i was going to put a switch there but then i heard a lot of speculation and heard a lot of rumors and statements about there possibly being a switch pro coming out later this year so i didn't want to go and jump the gun and buy a switch when in a few months there's a switch pro coming out and I just want to play the Diamond and Pearl remix because it takes me back to a better time. And I also want to try out that RC game. Eventually, there will be a Switch Pro, and you know, when I do get my hands on a Switch Pro, uh, there will be a unboxing and review video coming out. So in your face, every other tech YouTuber who will probably also get the same thing. That's the TV Send. It's actually good. It's great. It's great. It, it was around $80 Canadian. Um, and it, what I really like about it is that it matches literally every other thing in this area. Now let's jump into PlayStation 5 real quick. So PlayStation 5 is possibly the main component of this whole setup. It's absolutely fantastic. I would probably die right now if I didn't have a PS5 just because I have severe FOMO and I wouldn't really want to have to live without having a PlayStation 5 for a long, long time. So I got it on launch day, and ever since then, it has been fantastic. The games I've been playing, I've been playing PS5 and PS4 games, and it has really made me try out new types of games. Like I would have never tried out Horizon, I would have never tried out Uncharted, and I probably would have never tried out Hitman. Possibly the most fun I've had on this game has been playing the Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales. The Glorious 4K 60 FPS with ray tracing, absolutely fantastic. The fighting stuff, fighting gameplay, the story, absolutely fantastic. The visuals on Hitman 3, which is what I said earlier, holy great. The different kind of maps that you have on Hitman 3, it feels like you are actually taking part in the game and you are actually 
Agent 47. And the smoothness of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, of course, you probably won't be getting the same smoothness on any other kind of console, probably except last gen, but the smoothness with 120 FPS, fantastic. But you wouldn't be able to experience 120 FPS without the main part of this whole setup, which is the Sony X900H 55 inch TV. So this is probably the most expensive part of my setup. and. I gotta tell you, it is worth it. But this TV was kind of marketed to go directly with the PlayStation 5 when the PlayStation 5 came out. And I gotta tell you, it really, really does. Of course, you can, it automatically switches to game mode um, when you turn on the PlayStation 5. When you turn on the PlayStation 5, the TV automatically turns on. When you turn on the PlayStation 5 and the TV is already on, it automatically switches to the HDMI setting, which is, connected to the PS5. The visuals on this are fantastic. The 4K HDR is fantastic. And Android Smart TV is also fantastic. I love it. Um, I use it all the time to watch Netflix, Prime Video, and uh, YouTube. This is a fantastic TV. So I got it on sale for about just under a grand. Otherwise it does cost you about, I think 12 or $1,300 Canadian for the 55 inch version. Um, I didn't want to go 65. I was tempted to try and get a 65 inch TV, but I didn't want to go because 65 inch TVs were a lot more expensive, um, at least for this model. And I didn't want to get anything that's a step down, like a TCL or anything else. I wanted to get the 4K 120 FPS TV um, so I could play Call of Duty and any other future game in 4K 120 FPS. And it is a smooth dream. It is smooth. One thing I do, wish this TV had. I do wish it had a little bit more local dimming zones. It does have, I believe, 12 local dimming zones. If it had more, you would be able to notice less blooming. And of course, this is only ever evident if you were watching like the end credits at the end of a movie or when it says like 24 hours later in the bottom left, the right corner in the middle of the screen, then you'll notice um, some blooming and it, it, it kind of ruins the effect of the HDR or just the LED LCD technology. But yeah, other than that, this TV is fantastic um, and I would totally, totally recommend it if you have a PlayStation 5 or even an Xbox Series X. If you had an Xbox Series S, I would recommend maybe going for a slightly cheaper TV because you don't need it. Um, because that only runs at 1440p and does not play games at 4K because it sucks. And the last two things I will talk about. So behind the TV, I have three Philips Hue Play light bars, and these are absolutely fantastic. Expensive, very, very expensive, but fantastic. So I can control them from my phone and from the Google Nest Mini that I have right behind my TV. And it's really, really fantastic once you find a light arrangement that you like, or once you find a couple of light arrangements that you like for different kind of games or situations or whether you're watching a movie, they're fantastic. So I attach them to the back of my TV and I can either say, okay, or use the app on my phone, um, or I've also attached it to HomeKit so I can just kind of control it from HomeKit if I choose to, um, instead of using the Philips app, which is pretty much the same, but yeah. Would I recommend it to the average person? Probably not. You can definitely find cheaper options that almost do 99% of the things, but I really wanted to go with Philips because I try to be bougie like the other tech YouTubers and it really affects my pocket money. I'm broke now. But yeah, so I think you can get a pack of two on Amazon for the price that I list right here. I don't remember the price and you get a pack of one with this price. I don't think you can get a pack of three. If you can, it's probably better because I bought a pack of two than I bought a pack of one single pack. Um, if you get a pack of three, it probably costs you a little bit less. So the last thing I wanted to show is not really anything that delivers any extra kind of tech vibe to the setup, but it's a very, very good decoration piece, um, which is just fantastic. So I know a lot of people got into the Avatar universe last year, I believe a year ago, and you guys are all fake and I hate you because I've been watching Avatar since it first came out and I was like seven or eight. I hate you, but I also don't. I, I, love, I love you guys. I both hate you and love you because you guys are new fans 
and because you and your friends are fake friends and I'm worth no more than you. Um, so basically, if you guys haven't um, heard of these things, but a lot of YouTubers have been sponsored by this company and they've been promoting them in their videos, but uh, disc plates, they make magnetic and metallic posters that you can just hang up on your wall and you can pull them off and swap them out whenever you want to. So I picked up four of them. They are not cheap either. Uh, I think each one went for about $50 Canadian. Um, and plus I had to pay a customs fee because it came from like Poland or something. So, and that was like $40. So then at the end of it, each one costed like $55. Um, but yeah, I basically got the four element symbols and they look really, really sick. Um, so I got water, earth, fire, and air the way they introduced them in the Avatar, The Last Airbender show at the beginning in like the intro sequence. That is my gaming entertainment portion of my room. I'm not gonna be doing a room tour yet just because the rest of my room is not completely ready. Like my desk setup is atrocious when it comes to cable management. I'm probably gonna fix that up and then I'll do a separate room tour, desk setup tour eventually after some time. Thank you guys for tuning in to my first video of many and hopefully I become consistent with it. Um, if you are new, please like the video um, because you should because who doesn't want to like my types of videos? My videos are fantastic. You guys should really like this video. Subscribe if you are new because I know you want to subscribe. You, you wouldn't want to miss one of my videos. You wouldn't want to miss one of my videos. Subscribe and I'm going to be one of those people to say hit the notification bell because I know how much you love it when your phone blows up with notifications and then just spazzes out because it vibrates too much. But yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you liked this video. Everything that I listed in this video will be linked below in the description, except the PS5 because you'll probably never find a PS5 for at least another 10 years. Good luck. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.